Hello kids, how are you? Today, you're going to learn about affixes. This is based under the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials or the USLEM of Grade 3 English under Week 4 of the third quarter. Are you ready? Let's pull up the next slide. Before that, let's have a short review of what you have learned last time. Hypernames. When we say hypernames, they are the general term of the group or category. When we say hyponyms, they are words that can be placed into the same group or category. They are words that are linked in meaning. Okay? Now let's have these examples. The dog. The cat. The bird, pig, and the snake, they belong to the family of animals. And the word animals is an example of hypernym. And the dog, the cat, the bird, the pig, and snake are called the hyponyms. Okay? We have another example. The words animal number, color, tree, and fruit are examples of hypernym. And the words giraffe and deer, eight and three, green and violet, nara and oak, pineapple and mango. These are called the hyponyms. Okay? So now let's move on to our main lesson. Today, you're going to learn about affix. When we say affix, this is a set of letters or syllable or syllables generally added at the beginning or end of a root word to modify or to give another meaning. Now, there are two main types of affixes. The first one is prefix, and the second is suffix. Again, there are, main, or there are two main types of affixes, the prefix and the suffix. Now, let's have the prefix. When we say prefix, this is a syllable, or these are syllables added at the beginning of a root word. Now let's have the examples. The prefix this, which means not or opposite of. If you have the root word honest and if you're going to add the prefix this, this will become dishonest and the new meaning of the word is not honest. The second one is miss. This means wrongly or bad. If you have the root word behave, and if you're going to add the prefix miss, this will become misbehave. And the meaning of the word is bad behavior. The third one is re, which means again. If the root word is right, and if you're going to add the prefix re, this will become rewrite. Now the new meaning of the word is write again. The fourth one is pre. This means before. If you have the root word hit and if you're going to add the prefix pre, it will become prehit. Now the new meaning of the word is hit before using or hit before eating. And lastly, you have the prefix on. This means not. If you have the root word kind, and if you're going to add the prefix on, this will become unkind. Now, the new meaning of the word is not kind. Okay? Now, let's try another examples. 
you have the first column the prefix the second the meaning the third one is the root word and the last one is new word let's have the prefix x this means former or older if you have the root words president boyfriend and wife and if you're going to add the prefix x you will have ex-president ex-boyfriend and ex-wife meaning to say former president former boyfriend and former wife the second one is over. This means too much. The root words are load, dose, and weight. If you are going to add the prefix over, you will have overload, overdose, and overweight. Which means too much load, too much dose, and too much weight. And for the third one, you have the prefix semi or semi. This means half. Now, the root words are circle, colon, and final. If you are going to add the prefix semi or semi, you will have semicircle or semicircle. You also have semicolon and semi final Do you understand kids let's pull up the next slide now let's have suffix unlike prefix which is added at the beginning of the root word suffix or suffixes are syllables added at the end of a root word now let's have the examples. The suffix ed, meaning in the past. If you have the root word desired, and if you're going to add the suffix ed, this will become decided. And the new meaning of the word is made a final choice or judgment. The next one is ing. This means doing something. If you have the root word feel, and if you're going to add the suffix ing, this will become feeling. And the new meaning of the word is emotional state. The third one is ly, which means a certain way or a manner. If you have the root word poor, and if you're going to add the suffix ly, this will become poorly, which means inadequate the fourth one is full this means full of if you have the root word peace and if you're going to add the suffix full this will become peaceful which means full of peace lastly we have the word or the suffix less this means without if you have the root word end and if you're going to add the suffix less, this will become endless. And this now means without end. You follow? Well done. Now let's pull up the next slide. Let's have another examples of suffix. We have the first column, the suffix. The second one, meaning the third, the root word. And the fourth one is the new word okay so let's try able this means can be done if you have the root words like love and read and if you're going to add the suffix able you will have likable lovable and readable the next one is i see this means pertaining to or referring to if you have the root words athlete and history and if you're going to add the suffix ic you will have athletic and historic and the last one are the amce 
and the ENCE. This mean action, state, condition, or quality. If you have the root words accept and attend, and also refer and prefer. And if you're going to add the suffixes ANCE and ENCE, you will have acceptance and attendance and also reference and preference do you understand now well done now let's have some activities let's pull up the next slide for activity number one you're going to write the appropriate prefix to complete each word choose your answer from the box of prefixes below now the prefixes are this, miss, re, pre, and on. Activity number two. You're going to write the appropriate suffix to complete each word. Choose your answer from the box of suffixes below. Now the suffixes are ed, ing, ly, and full. Activity number three, you're going to complete the table below by adding a prefix or suffix that matches the root word. Then, write the new word on the space provided. Always remember kids, when we say affix, this is a set of letters or syllable or syllables generally added at the beginning or end of a root word to modify or to give another meaning. Now there are two main types of affixes. The first one is prefix and the second is suffix. When we say prefix, this is a syllable or these are syllables added at the beginning of a root word. And when we say suffix, this is a syllable or these are syllables added at the end of a root word. That's all for today kids. I hope you enjoyed and learned our lesson. Goodbye.